Okay guys, you'd like to know how to name an angle. Okay, first of all, before we get started, we need to differentiate between naming an angle and a type of angle. The majority of times when I ask students, how do you name an angle? Or can you please name this angle for me? What do they say? They say, oh, this is an acute angle, or obtuse angle, or reflex angle. That is not naming an angle. That is basically a type of an angle. Naming an angle is a little bit different. Let's look at it this way. If we're looking at cars, we have names of cars and we have types of cars. When we're looking at names of cars, we're talking about Holdens, Fords, Toyota. When we're looking at types of cars, we're looking at sedans, hatchback, utes, vans. So now that you understand the picture, that names are different to types. Let's see what we're referring to when we're talking about names of angles. As you can see, we have two angles up top and we have already named them already and as you can see we have an angle that is marked with a D, an E and an F and this angle when we name it we can name it this way angle D, E, F or angle F, E, D Notice how the vertex, which is in the corner there, the corner where the two arms meet, is marked with an E. The vertex has to always be in the middle. So angle DEF or angle FED. You can write it either way, it doesn't matter, as long as the vertex is in the middle. The other angle is marked with a Z, a Y and an X. Again, let's see. Where is the vertex? The vertex has a Y, so the Y has to be in the middle. So we can write it this way, angle X, Y, Z, or angle Z, Y, X. So naming an angle, angle X, Y, Z, or angle Z, Y, X. Now that's already done for us. Let us do some examples, and you're going to understand how easy it is. Okay, we have an angle here, angle with an A, with a B, and with a C. Now, the vertex is there, marked with a B. So, we want to write it, and I like to write it in alphabetical order. Angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. Or you can say angle C, B, A. However, I like it, angle A, B, C. C, both are correct as long as the vertex is in the middle. Angle A, B, C, angle A, B, C. Another example, we have another angle here, marked with an F, with a G, and with a H. So, again we look for the vertex. The vertex is the G. There it is, which is the corner. So, we want to write it. Angle F, G, H. Angle F, G, H. Or angle H, G, F. No problem. Angle F, G, H. The vertex, there it is. It's in the middle. Very important for us to see. Look at this one here. Where we have two angles. They are adjacent. They are next to each other. But the one that's marked in purple is this angle here. So we want to name this angle. We, look, we locate and we see the Y is in the vertex. We only want this section there. So angle X, Y, V. Angle X, Y, V or V, Y, X. As long as the vertex is in the middle, angle X, Y, V. This one here we have a triangle and the angle marked is on this section here. We would like to know how to name it so we can say angle, we know M is the vertex, angle L, M, N, angle L, M, N. The vertex once again is in the middle. Okay. We have an angle here, and we notice the whole large angle has been marked for us. 
So we want to name the whole angle from here to there. Very simple. We know the vertex is Q, angle, P, Q, S. Angle P, Q, S, or angle S, Q, P. I'll write it angle S, Q, P. Angle S, Q, P, which will cover the whole angle as you see it. Angle S, Q, P. We don't have to write R because we've already included it by saying angle S, Q, P. So as you can see, very straightforward. We only look for the vertex and we make sure the vertex is in the middle. This is how we name an angle.